for this work to see it being achieved. And I was worried that we might not even get what is required in the stipulated time. And to me as a minister, I couldn't sit and wait till after hearing that the project is stalling the region. Because my work is to see the project move. Remember, there are other projects that are going to commence, and uh, we cannot allow the project to stall because of somebody who is not serious and will be quiet. That's why I can find out what exactly is the problem. Why is it not moving as, as expected? Because as elsewhere where I have been, you realize that people are doing their work and some are going to even complete their work before the promised time. But this is a project where you feel they tell you 10%, 20%. What are we doing? Is the contractor serious? What is happening? Does he have financial challenges? Where is the problem? Because I believe if we understand the problem, then we shall be in position to have practical recommendations that will help us to resolve the problem before getting out of hand. That's why I'm here for land. You have ably given me the information, but I will ask you to write formally, especially with these things to do with the market, land where the ministry had made proposals of boundary opening, so that your report can give you the basis to take action in some of that, those areas where you had started. My team is coming on the 14th and 15th, the team on SLAP, the systematic land adjudication. They were doing some work here, mm, and, they yeah. and they are returning because I asked them that I think this time around we need to conclude. Because before we conclude, you realize that other challenges are coming on board, more requests are coming on board, so I told them this month we should make sure that at least we complete the process for people to have their titles. Okay. Those whose land have been surveyed. Okay. That's all I have, and I want to thank everybody for being around, and I want to give you our commitment that we are ready to work with you. We shall support you in areas of land, in areas of fiscal planning, where you need even the fiscal planning board to come and give you more advice, don't hesitate to contact us because we want to see <coughs> Barara growing, like you have said. Yeah. We want to see it growing in an organized way. And thank you so much for the work you are doing. I want to congratulate you for having won the election. Yeah. At least you were a mayor for the municipality, and now you are a mayor for the city, yeah. meaning that at least you can every understand the dynamics yeah, of, of the area and also maybe carry forward most of the projects you have started on. Thank you. Is the Honorable mm Haji -hmm. as Babas is my minister for? Mm -hmm. so, I think that one will oh. <laughs> MP. Rita, Rita. Woman MP for my So on, on two things maybe which I can make a comment on. <clears throat> one, I want to thank you for the hope that you have told me of bringing the people to come again here. They'll be here from the 14th, I think, to 19th. Okay. Mm. Because it has also been a, a challenge where people make questions to me when I don't have an alternative answer for, for such a question. I the titles will not be out. I will give people. you a very good assurance mm. that uh, Mara City now has an independent land board in Mara City. We have our own operational mm. independent land board. And those issues uh, that happened in the other side, 
will not happen here. They may happen, maybe when I'm out of this office. But so long as that I'm here, I'm the one who looked for them, gave them a job to go and work for my people. They must work for me. So, and you know what? As you have heard that you got complaints, people see this, they have these eyes. Mm. They see work are not moving. And for them, you cannot tell them, because if it is just a, uh, shifting a, a sweat, they expect it to be shifted to another area. Place and work goes on. So please, I think really, I'm very happy that you, you have seen it yourself. Uh, all along, my had, uh, I had said, and I still say it now, if we are giving people contracts, we need to look at history. Yes. It's very important, we need to look at history. We know this person has the capacity. Mm. This one has the capacity to work. But someone co convincing this, 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 it is very, it is very challenging. We didn't have issues like, for example, in the first batches, we worked with a baker. Was a local company, we did not have issues. We'd finish work, we'd ABCD. We didn't have any, 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 any clash with you. Mm. Uh -huh. We had this uh, Chico, the Chinese who worked on 21 kilometers. They worked so quickly, 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 and uh, everything was done. Nobody complained. So, I think really, will he, will he be at the site? He's invited the project manager. Uh -huh. hmm? Wait, the project manager. The uh, and another thing, they, are, they seem not to be serious. They are supposed to be having a resident engineer. Mm. We have always talked, did he come? In the last meeting, ah. you see now, a resident engineer, they can read the name of a person, the good thing these engineers know themselves. Ah, uh, uh, well, you are, you are telling people lies, is not here, is not, is not. So you see, those are some of the tricks, but uh, uh, me as, as a leader, because when I come again, that means we shall, you will be seeing on the news what will be happening. Either blocking him from putting his machines again there, and those ones also, uh, they are bad. They also affect, affect the, 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 the project. The World Bank people, when they look at Mbarra, are fighting because uh, Usmi is not done well. That means we are not squaring also as a ministry. So, I, I wouldn't wish to go all that far, but uh, the good thing you have you have known, we have talked, we have talked and over talked. We have talked, we have talked in the meetings, and man says, please, okay, I'm going to work, I'm going to work, I'm going to work, but he's not, uh, he's not moving, he's like a snake. But uh, maybe uh, with your voice, big, big voice, uh, things can 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 quickly go on now. What we want as people of Barra is service delivery. Period. That's what we want. Others, whatever, we don't want to know. Um, lastly, we are we are here as in Barra City. You have seen where we are sitting. This is a, a big a city mayor's office. This was an office of a small person of the municipality. Mm -hmm. A city mayor should be in a very big office where there is space, mm -hmm. where people are comfortable. Mm -hmm. Others are standing in the corridor. Others are. Mm -hmm. uh, I have even officers who sit yeah. in one office, three in one room, three uh, like that. Even that lady, the member of parliament, shares an office with, with my deputy mayor. Because we don't have space. The issue I'm bringing here is one. Uh, since these cities were created, we have always had wrangles with the district, mother districts. Mm -hmm. 
Yes. I think you are aware. Mm. At one time, I had wanted even to go and chase them from, from my head. Mm. Because if people voted me, I know where I end. Mm. And why do you come and you do your business from my head? You enter my bed and sleep. Because you are supposed to be there? No way. So we said, we need the issue of land for, because it is government land, mm. city and district serve it and finish it. Mm. We have held several meetings over the same. Mm. Recently they wanted to chase away the member of parliament who brought to a certain functional symposium. Mm. They said, no, 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 you are not supposed to come over. How? If they don't want, let them shift the playground, they take it to their area. Mm. But when it is here, and you tell me not to use it, as who? Those are government properties. It is a government property? Mm. Our government, you are government. Mm. And you say you cannot enter a prince like that, and I go away? Issues, those issues happened in, in Soroti, whereby the district came and demolished a, mon a monument of a city. Mm -hmm. But thank God it happened in Soros. Mm -hmm. Had it happened here, people would have seen blood. Mm -hmm. So we are fighting for, for that. Mm -hmm. So we want at least the issues of land between district and city finished. Mm -hmm. Uh, Attorney General gave a, a guidance mm. which we which pulled us down mm. and he, in his guidance he was making things very simple mm. then we pulled down and now they had to go and petition petition how do you challenge a, 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 someone who advises government as who they do it. But it's very bad. Mm -hmm. It is a disrespect. Mm -hmm. It is disrespect. You just wait for the guidance and you see. What I want to tell you is we are not we are not saying that we we should come and say shift and go. There are things we can look at. There are things we, we can't look at. But what we don't have now there is space for us to work an environment for us to work in. Mm. We don't have it. And if it were, uh, it were me, mm. as well as a politician, mm. I would have gone to his where, put a tent and a chair, and I do my business. I give services to people because I will be closer to them. And an old person coming from there, coming to this town, Corona, what, you know? It is an inconvenience. They should go, by the way. Mm. They should go. They should go and take services to their people. Hmm? So let us have harmony mm. uh, instead of, ah, uh, uh, you see, what did they do? Ah, uh, they gave us two days, one month. It erupts, nothing happened. If it wasn't my honorable majesty to put down the situation, uh, hey, they were going to, to feel what? Okay. So at least you sit with the local government, you harmonize on this issue. Mm. What I'm, I'm talking to you here is the same challenge in the guru, same challenge where, mm. where, everywhere. Mm. At least let us, we know we are working there. Mm. Okay. But for the rest, I want to assure you, Honorable Minister, we are ready to cooperate and work with you. And we shall always support you so much. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Thank, thank you very much for that first point. Uh, I pledge that I'll get in touch with local government yes. and follow the office of the Attorney General yeah. to see how the guidelines can be developed. All a statement in as far as the, the land in cities and districts is concerned because actually we've been having a number of complaints from the law mm. uh, about land. Mm. Mm. Yeah. Meaning that things are not yet streamlined, but we'll, we'll be getting back to you soon. Okay. Mm. 
I think uh, you have one comment and the Yeah, sure. Oh, first welcome, Honorable Minister. Uh, it's a pleasure to see you in Barra City and for all the good work you're doing across the country to stand for the local people um, against evictions, uh, against uh, land conflicts. So coming to Barara gives hope. People have been waiting for you. And uh, <laughs> we believe we will see you more and more. Uh, from the south, I think the north is eager waiting. Mm -hmm. There are issues of Brenjur, issues of Andrews. But um, with uh, your hard work, really, we may have great hope. Thank you for fixing in Usmaid. Because, you know, when things don't go well, mm -hmm. well the only thing you can think about, they bring it back to the leadership. Yes. They never look at the contractor. Right now, everyone thinks the leaders mm -hmm. have missed, have eaten money, mm -hmm. and yet that hasn't happened. So for, for people of Mara City to see you come in mm -hmm. and add to the voice that has been made, to make sure this contractor commits is very, very important. Because now in the minds of people, they are wondering, what made Chico do their work and finish and what then is it? Mm. He's not doing. Abu Bakr. Yes. Abu Bakr. Everywhere you pass, it is the point raised. Mm. And then also, one of the last key things is the, is the district and city issues. Even right now, as we prepare for Women's Day, on mm. 2nd April, mm -hmm. we are sure whether they will give us kachin. They will. In our minds and everything, we know it they is will. Ours. That is because, the mm. But it is like a, a stepmother-mother relationship, you know, mm -hmm. when you are trying to get fees from your stepmother. It's all about the mothers who are good. Sometimes it's not easy, you know. <laughs> so the, 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 the circumstance, because if it was the city, I wouldn't even need to ask. Mm -hmm. I would know we have it's your our venue. So I, and I think it's also important for the city to settle down and to start doing their work in the very rightful ways. Uh, the central market and all that, I believe he has uh, mm. uh, spoken about it. But uh, to say that uh, with your office, uh, lastly, we trust for what you have done to put the women uh, at the front line for them to be able that when you're dealing with these conflicts, they are not... Uh, they don't suffer like the elephant fighting, two of them fighting as the grass. So most welcome, always welcome, and I think we should invite you for business. For the city. <laughs> yeah, for business, for living here. But right, China is the most beautiful. <laughs> yeah. It's yeah. the most beautiful city. Yes, 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 yes. Very beautiful, yeah. very okay. We have many gateways to yeah. tourist attractions, so. Really Come and invest here. And, and many prospects. Yesterday yes. I was telling people that now Congo is settling. This is going to be a base. Yeah. Uh, where, why will people this. be in Kampala when there is a base that connects them to other areas? Uh -huh. you, will, you will find that this is a base that has many prospects. Yes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So thank you. Uh, only maybe uh, <laughs> I'm chairing a committee of disciplinary mm. uh, affairs of students of Mara University mm. and uh, we are hearing cases of, uh, of students mm. so I will beg that my deputy will be with you and the uh, honorable yes. then I go and chair the meeting. Thank you sir. on the progress of our work as a ministry in the region. 
basically have been looking at land okay. issues on the invitation of the area MP have been looking at land issues look here but I uh, but I had also come to specifically inspect on the progress of this new project in the area because of the so many complaints I've been getting about the slopes of use yet the earlier use programs moved on so well but this one the rating was so miserable because I had that it is almost progressing at 10 percent which is unrealistic unbelievable and unacceptable so that is the meeting we've been having with the mayor and also his team we want to forge a way of how can we improve services in Barara city but also look at specific land issues in the area definitely we have found out that people made titles yet they are not in occupation or in, pos in possession of the land. They made titles, but they are not possessing the land. The land is being possessed by locals, but someone else used his wisdom or his tricks and made a title that covers almost a parish, and people are not, you know, they are not certain of where they would be 10 years to come, five years to come. And I've also noted that even you will see try to give people titles but there are those who did not get titles so I want to capture all that information it will form a basis for our action points as a as a ministry as we look towards land tenure security in mm. the country mm. you talked about people to come here and invest and what? there's the way how you describe Timbarara <laughs> of course Timbarara is a potential Mbarara has potential and uh, being one of the new cities that were created in the 10th parliament, they have a huge potential for development. And that's why I was telling Mayor that it is high time they strategically position themselves to accommodate the huge investment, the huge base of all the strategic things that are going to be done in the area. It is a gateway to Congo, but also to other areas. Meaning that if they position themselves strategically business is going to boom. Mbarara will be another Kampala. Let us not only focus on Kampala but Mbarara will create another Kampala and you'll find that people will no longer go to Kampala. They will be concentrating in their area and doing development activities in the area. I've emphasized the issue of fiscal planning. This is the time for Mbarara to plan itself well as in the city because it's young, it's a baby, it has even some rural areas that need to be focused on, planned well, such that by the time Barara grows in 10 years, everything will be as per plan. I've emphasized the issue of putting up a compliance team. Of course, normally plans are passed. Physical plans are passed, building plans are passed by the different technical committees. But is it what is being followed on ground? So they need to have that compliance team that will keep on monitoring the progress of what they passed, whether the people who are building, whether people who are investing are following the plans, because that is the only way they can have an organized city. How about the fee that you complain? The it is a, that the way they charge. Uh -uh. Okay. Then, then another brother, thing. An, another thing. Mm. Which message do you have for the youth? Because you know where we are now. Uh, mm. For for the youth in the area, I would advise you to be more alert and strategic, don't allow to be diverted by self-seekers. This is the only time you have to position yourself. In government, look out for the different programs that government has. Now we are singing about the parish development model. Don't wait for your leader to come and tell you the benefits of that parish development model. This is your time to position yourself, be more active, be more aggressive, engage in the different activities if it means forming groups circles organize yourselves that's when you are going to tap into what government has brought in your area and by the end of the 10 years if you are serious with what government is bringing in the area you will see a much more difference if you participate actively meaningfully positively and also organize others who may not know or who may be hoodwinked and they haven't appreciated 
the value of tapping into what government has brought in an area so that they also come on board because this is the time politics ended. We have now to work, we have to mobilize others and the rest to embrace what is in place. There are so many opportunities now in the city. You might find that even these projects that come, like USMID and other projects, they could be jobs. Go and ask, use your leaders like the mayor to find out what employment opportunities are in place such that we achieve when we talk we achieve what we say about local content because when we say local content we believe that if a project is an, is in an area members or people who come from that particular area should have a percentage so you should always be keen be alert and look out for opportunities that will help you to have a better life